Hey, hey, it's Lindsay Grimont, the Homemade Mommy. Sorry about those technical difficulties, but we are getting started now. We have an amazing special guest. And again, please check the pinned post for all of my highlighted videos. And you can also follow me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash hmademommy to see video replays after they have been posted in the group for you to share in your group. So please add everyone by clicking on the little plus sign next to the little man and you can invite people to this video. So super excited to have a crossline friend of mine, Sarah Hopkins Johnson, on the video here. Let me find her. There we go. There she is. I am going to add her and we're going to do a split screen here. You can do it on Facebook now. And she is going to share with us some things that I didn't know just recently. Um, learned from her just from posts in our Diamond group. And I'm just so thankful for that group. When you get to Diamond, you're in this group with all of the Diamonds and above in Young Living. And you learn so much in there from each other. And we're just able to really ask a lot of questions. And it's just very relaxed and so amazing. And Sarah and I were also on a Royal Crown Diamond panel at convention. So some of you who came to that and saw me there might remember her from that. But she was sharing some information about this Golden Touch Kit. And Sarah has been with Young Living for a really long time. And if you could just take a couple of minutes, Sarah, to let everyone know about your story and how you joined Young Living. And I just love talking with the Diamonds who've been with Young Living for a while and who joined at a time when there was just so much learning going on and who know different things than, than we know. You know, whenever you have a different upline, you always learn different things about different oils. So I'm just so blessed um, to have her on and I hope that all of you will give her a warm welcome. She took time out of her busy day today to spend some time with us. So thank you so much, Sarah. You're so welcome. Well, I've been uh, with Young Living for 11 years. So July 12, 2006 was when um, I joined. And uh, when I joined, I didn't know anyone. I mean, I didn't know anything about essential oils. I didn't know anybody using essential oils. A friend of mine told me about her nutritionist friend, Deborah Rayburn, and had given me her business card in passing at a homeschool convention and just said, hey, if you ever want to know about nutrition, you need to contact my friend. Um, this mutual friend of ours, you know, wasn't in Young Living, didn't know oils or anything like that. I mean, it was just something um, God actually put on her heart to give me that, that card. Um, and so I almost threw it away two months later. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I decided, oh, uh -oh. it's on my cork board. Um, I totally wasn't ready to receive that at the time. I call myself the former fast food queen, if that gives you any indication as to how I fed my family back in the day. But anyway, um, I ended up months later, um, I realized I needed to learn about nutrition for my family. So I contacted Deborah and I was like, do you have a newsletter that I can learn about nutrition? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> so she put me on a newsletter and so I began to learn um, in April of 2006 the first newsletter I got was love your liver and um, and I was like oh great I get to find out about nutrition for my liver and so she's telling about nutrition in the newsletter um, for the to support your liver and then she started talking about essential oils to support the liver and I was like what is she talking about <laughs> I don't even know and so anyway that was my introduction in, uh, to Young Living I just clicked on some links to Young Living she didn't have a website nothing so it was just direct to Young Living um, I clicked another link and it was the farm website and it was not the same it's like the predecessor to the current seed to seal but it was a lot of pictures of Gary on tractors. And I'm like, what is this company? What in the world? This supplement company has farms? What? And so I fell in love on that first day with Young Living and I had never smelled or touched or experienced an essential oil. And I knew in my heart that this was something for my family. And so, um, oh, you just went sideways. <laughs> 
I didn't. I like <laughs> upside down. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> okay. Right as long as everybody can hear me. That's cool. If you can hear me, we're good. Um, so anyway. I can hear I you, but that is crazy. What's going on here? <laughs> Um, so anyway, that's, that was my introduction to Young Living and four months later, um, or like three and a half months later, I signed up. And so my second purchase was later in the month after I had signed up, I had told my mom about these oils I'd been learning about through these emails and I had to wait to get my kit because back in the day at that time we were struggling not to pay for groceries with credit cards. And so uh, my husband had said, don't use a credit card. When I told him, honey, there's these essential oil things that I think my, our family needs. And, and his way out was like, don't use a credit card. So I, um, I, you know, just learned as much as I could through these email newsletters. And then four months later, my mom let me use her credit card <laughs> and she wasn't in young living or anything, but, um, anyway, that's a long story, but um, then I signed up my mom and um, found out that I needed to get on Essential Rewards. And so by the end of the month, I got on Essential Rewards. And my very next item that I purchased after my starter kit was the Golden Touch One Kit. And uh, because I had been doing a little bit of my own research, I was like, okay, I need, I need more Thieves. I need Melrose. I need, you know, there was several things that I knew I needed. But, I mean, I didn't just... No, I, I, I didn't have a budget. I didn't have any budget for the oils, but I was like, my, our family does need these. And what we've tried so far has been amazing. And so I knew I needed Thieves, Melrose, and Dye Dries. And I was just looking online and saw that collection, Golden Touch One kit. And so I was like, okay, this is what, this is what I'm going to get. So that's it. This kit right here. <laughs> and so now... I know you had asked me why was it named. Somebody asked, was it in a diamond chat? Someone asked, why is Golden Touch? Why is, it, why is it called that? And so I, what I had learned back then was that it was kind of a play on Mom's Golden Touch, and that you know it was um, all these oils were some of the you know seven oils that every mom needs in their house for everyone. You know, mom, dad, teen, preteens, the littles, toddlers, everyone. And so um, I was like, okay, I, I know I need some of these. <laughs> um, and I did. I, out of the, I needed the five for sure. There was five that I really needed. There was two that I was like, what is Juvaflex and Endoflex? And I just stuck it on a shelf. And there it sat for five years. No way. Yes way. <laughs> yes. I Just did. those two or the whole kit? Do what? Just those two oils sat for five years or the whole oh, no, kit? just the two oils. Just those two. Just the two. Like Thieves, Melrose. I mean, I had a plan for all the other ones. I mean, um, Thieves and Melrose were the ones that I was like way into first. Yeah. And then um, Die Jives and then of course RC and Raven. And um, yeah. I, I hadn't learned about Endoflex and Juvaflex um, at the beginning. And then later I learned about them, but that's not where our health focus had been. But I didn't fully understand why those two were in that, you know, I always thought it, about it as, you know, mom's golden touch <laughs> kit, you know. Why do, does a mom need Endoflex and Juvaflex? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I felt the same way. I had no clue what those were until, I mean, I kind of knew, you know, now, right, a few years later. But when I first got it, I really got it for getting Raven and Melrose because I really wanted those. And I could always use more um, more Thieves and more Dye Dyes. But, I mean, I was really getting it for the Melrose and the Raven. And that's really how I've talked about the kit to everyone in my group. But, you know, we don't talk a lot about the endocrine system or, you know, that kind of stuff in this group because I focus so much on the digestive system and the immune system. And I just remembered on that chat thread, you bringing that up and saying, we, you know, we have to focus on all of these. And I was like, hmm. And it just really got me thinking. So, so amazing because I want to know. Okay. So please. 
care. Okay, so <laughs> you all know what these is for. And I'm, yes. Lindsay has done a great job telling you what thieves and die dies is for. Um, for me, as soon as I open my kit, I put Melrose, um, and I, I'll tell you where I put it. Um, I put Melrose on, like, around um, Joshua's ears, you know, RC Raven on the chest and all that. And so then it was five years later. Okay, let me back up a bit. So when we first started with Young Living, I had three children, ages at the time, eight, five, and one and a half, so 18 months. And so um, then later I had Ethan. So we have two girls, two boys. Um, now they're age almost 20, almost 17. Like we have birthdays coming, like do, 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 the next few months. Anyway, um, and then Josh was 12, and Ethan, he will be 10 in December. And so, and that was my oil baby. Um, but anyway, when my oldest daughter, Julia, when she turned 12, she started having just like a lot of emotional changes. <laughs> and it really was emotional. I mean, that was all that was evident at that time. And she's my artist. Um, she's an artist. She's a, a singer and a musician. She does musical theater. Um, she loves life, loves everyone. Everything's like rainbows and unicorns. Like she wants everyone to be, she is the peacemaker. Um, she's the keeper of the peace. Like we never would argue. I mean, this child is just always <laughs> compliant. <laughs> really great. <laughs> you know, it's like, wow, this is a great kid, <laughs> you know? And then when she hit like 12, 12 and a half, um, that's when it seemed like her personality was changing. Um, I would find her in her room instead of reading, but she's such a bookworm and she loves to read and she's very introverted. Um, but I'd come in there and she's bawling, mom, I don't know why I'm crying, you know? And then she's all, um, and, and she started nitpicking herself, like finding things that she didn't like about herself and really focusing on that negative. And she'd never done that before. And so... I didn't really get it. I didn't really see it what see it for what it was, and uh, because I mean this is my baby, you know. And you, I never raised a preteen before, <laughs> or yeah, preteen at the time, and then a teen. I mean, I'd never done this before, and no one was really. I was focused at the time a lot of my own hormones in in various ways, mostly progestins plus, and um, like energize. But anyway. So for Julia, that went on for like a year. And then we really started button heads and arguing and stuff. And so she was about 13 and a half. And I began to pray. I'm like, what is going on? This is not how I imagine things. This is not my daughter. And um, I really felt the Lord um, tell me, he said, okay, support her endocrine system. And I'm like, oh, she has hormones too. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> duh. Okay. And so, um, you know, you can take your Indoflex Vitality. Um, we will put it in the Nisha Red um, to give the support for the endocrine system. And then, you know, I have my topical Indoflex too. And so where do I put that? Well, I told Julia, it was like, here's what I did. First of all, let me back up a bit because I'm very much about education and I love to educate my kids and, 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 Educate them on what is happening in their body um, and how do we best take care of it. So I actually got a picture of the endocrine system out for Julia to look at so she could know where all her glands are. You know, her pituitary and pineal, her thyroid, her thymus, you know, the pancreas, the adrenals. Um, and we always focus on liver too because the liver, our liver has to... Any time that we, let me, let me put it this way. When you have life changes, okay, any type of life changes, you have your hormones are producing all different, you know, your endocrine system is producing all different kinds of, of hormones to help your body move into those new seasons of life, whether it's a growth spurt um, for, you know, even a toddler, a growth spurt for, you know, a preteen or teen, or if you're a woman and, and, you know, you're going through the change of life, right, into menopause. I mean, all the different seasons in your life, your endocrine system is having to adjust. You know, your brain is, 
it, it, your brain's, you know, starts in your brain. It's having to, inter, uh, to regulate and change up your hormones and all that. And so, um, so when you're having these surges of hormones, various hormones, your liver has to do extra work. And so, um, and, and when, as I began to learn that, it really made sense. I remember growing up when I was having those growth spurts and like after I would eat, if I would do something physical um, too soon, like, you know, we're eating and our liver's trying to, you know, it's filtering and it's doing all this extra work. Well, then if it's also helping to regulate hormones and to kind of deal with that, those hormone surges and swings, then it really can get start, uh, start getting bogged down. Then if you have, you know, exposure to toxic junk, your liver is just working so hard. And so I know for me, when I was growing up, sometimes, you know, I'd, after lunch, you know, we'd be doing, you know, PE or something like that, and I'd get a side ache. And really, that was just my liver telling me, hey, slow down, hold on, I need a little lift, I need some fuel, I need some nutritional support, I need that. And, um, and so when I, I learned that, I didn't know that then, <laughs> but I knew that, I, um, at, you know, I began to learn that and, and um, it's very helpful. So any of those um, changes in life, growth spurts are moving for, from this stage to this stage, uh, always think about liver support, okay? And we love our Young Living products. Any of you all know, and I'm sure Lindsay has told you, the little keyword you look for is Juva, okay? So Young Living's, you know, Gary made the keyword for leaven on your liver, Juva. So we've got our Juva Flex Vitality, right? And we've got Juva Power, Juva Tone, Juva Spice, those wonderful products to support a healthy liver. And Juva, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> So, so when I think about, so anyway, but the first thing back to my story here, you know, I, so here's my 13 year old and, you know, I'm just, you know, showing her, okay, here's all the various glands of the endocrine system. And here's why we're going to put endoflex vitality in your Nisha red. Okay. To support your endocrine system. And, you know, as we're using oils and using them topically, um, I, I just told Julia, I said, okay, now you're going to grab your Endoflex and we're just going to put it on. And she's like, well, mom, where should I put it on? And I said, well, let's put it here, you know, here, um, you know, the temples in the back of the neck, um, right here on the, in the front of the neck, on the chest, um, over on the left side, and then give the right side some love, and then on the lower back and lower abdomen and the inside of the ankles. And um, so I told her, I said, Julia, okay, do this. You need to do this three times a day. And she was like, okay, I'll do it. And so two days later, I had my daughter back, my happy Julia, my, you know, Julia, who is like loving life and is very positive and is just really looking forward to to good things and, you know, dreaming big and all that. I had my daughter, like after a year of going through that mess, I had my daughter back. So fast forward a few years, my second daughter, <laughs> Elise, um, she, the same type of thing started happening, but, but this is a different child. Elise, she is, she is a spitfire. She loves passionately. And she fights passionately and she was like always super high, <laughs> super low, super happy, super mad. I mean, this is just, God just wired her to be the super passionate child. Um, but through her life, sometimes it would be easy to get stuck in the angry, <laughs> stuck in the like, you know? And so it was funny because when I got pregnant with um, Joshua and I found out that he was going to be a boy, our third one, our first boy, everybody was like, oh, wait till you have your boy. And I'm like, have you met Elise? <laughs> I mean, because this child was like, oh, my word. And so here she turned. It, it was like around 12 and a half for her. And she would like get stuck in the low. Like she would be in that fight mode for like you can get her out of it. And I'm like, what is going on? And it was like, oh. Oh, she has hormones too. 
what am I thinking? Oh my word. Okay, Elise. You know, and I did the same thing with Elise and showed her how we were going to support her endocrine system, you know, the endoflex vitality, add it into your Ningxia Red, and, and we did that. And then I showed her, you know, where to put oils on her body. And so, um, oh my word, in just a few days, she was like the most compliant, like easygoing, like she was kind of in that middle place. She's still passionate. She still is very loving and she still will come to your defense anytime she needs to, you know, but she was like, I'm like, oh my word, she's needed this since she was two. What? And so it started really clicking as, you know, we went through me as a mother as I'm learning the best ways to care for my children. And um, when Joshua turned 10, okay, so Joshua, he was the most easygoing child ever. Like he never cried. He never, like he would, everybody called him smiling Josh, always smiling, so easygoing. And um, when he was 10, he was working on his math. I remember one day he was working on his math and he was sitting at the kitchen table bawling. And I'm like, what in the world? What's going on? He was like, I can't do it. Oh, I'm just so, I can't get this. And I'm like, Joshua. And it was so unlike him. But guess what? I've been going through this with the girls. I'm like, oh, my word. He has hormones, too. <laughs> Boys do, too. <laughs> what? And I mean, it was like this aha moment that was like, what in the world? You know, men are people, too. They have hormones, right? males do we all do and I'm like well what would happen if I focus on supporting my boys endocrine system as well you know and supporting their liver as well and so you know I did the same with them I you know putting endoflex vitality and then now um because I just really really started getting it using Juvaflex vitality um and adding that into the Ningxia Red as well when they do their shots in the morning and then, you know, with their various oils, my husband calls them their man oils that they put on in the morning and night. And he does the routine and they take for the boys. Um, he has them using Mr. and Endoflex. And I think sometimes they do grab some blue, I know blue spruce, but he's taught because I showed my husband what to do. Where, do, where does, this, does it need to go? And so they kind of do their little thing and, and rub it where they need to rub it. And they used to do the outside of their ankles, um, you know, in all the different areas. And I tell you what, when I did that with Joshua that particular day, it took him about five or ten minutes, you know, for it to really, for him to, like, chill. And then he was able to focus and, you know, finish his, his task. I mean, that math uh, homework was hard, but he was then able to, his brain was able to like, you know, um, set aside all the crazy emotions and actually focus on the task at hand. And so that's what I found. I've been sharing these tips with my sister-in-laws who have littles and they're using these tips with their toddlers and their little kiddos and just seeing a change in the atmosphere, especially with emotions, especially there. Because, I mean, think about when you have a toddler that maybe not, not be fully verbal yet, but they are going through growth spurts and they're feeling all these emotions, you know, because our emotions and our hormones, it's all seated in the same part of the brain. And they're feeling these emotions and they're frustrated because they can't fully say what they feel and what they're thinking or, or their brain is just like, I don't know how to handle all of these emotions. And so temper tantrum. And so, you know, whatever other stuff. And so, you know, we like to diffuse our oils and you can diffuse, um, you know, you can get in there and, and diffuse oils and, um, you know, grab some other ones that you have sitting around. Um, but especially with our, those vitality oils and getting those in, um, in them to support the endocrine system. It's just, it's a, it's a total game changer as a mom. And I'm so thankful. This yeah. is like, I can't say it's my favorite kit because I love them all. <laughs> But it's just a great way to get all of them. And I, I got to be honest, I, and I'm sure that there are others in the group who feel this way too, but I got to be honest. I was 
thinking in my head because of when I was younger, I had horrible, horrible periods. I mean, when I first got my period in, at 12, sorry, men, you might just want to, you know, pause for a minute or whatever, <laughs> but it was horrible. I would hemorrhage and I had the worst time and I got put on the pill at 13 years old and I would, and there I stayed and it gave me migraines and they gave me so many horrible health problems for many years. And I was on that until I was probably 31 years old. And it, it was just in my mind, any added hormones were going to cause problems. And so I often thought that it was just going to keep causing, you know, problems. And so I never thought to add, you know, to support my endocrine system. I never thought, I thought that like if I added progestins or if I added something, it would like totally change my personality and like give me migraines and like mess up my hormones. And what really clicked for me in August when you shared about Indoflex Vitality and Juvaflex Vitality, in, you know, was just that we're just supporting and that the oils are adapted and they're going to work the way they need to, to support your body or your kids' bodies or whatever. And, and it was like a light bulb went off because I've never used, I mean, I've used Indoflex off and on, but a light bulb completely went off for me at that moment. And I was so, I was just so excited. So I started a couple months ago and I, and I shared in here and, and told everybody that I was doing some research on this, my own family for my own use, because I wanted to know what it would do. And, you know, even just applying it to my, my baby's feet helped him to sleep better. And, you know, he's a smiley, happy kid, but, you know, going through these leaps. So we, we totally do this wonder weeks app. I don't know if you guys have that, but if you're a mom of baby, you should totally get it. I did not have this with my daughter, but it tells you when they're going through this kind of massive developmental shift and it's every few months. And, you know, when I use it on him during that time, or even just diffuse it, it's just so huge, you know, because he's a baby. I'm not going to, you know, put the vitality in his body, but I'm going to do whatever I can to, to just get that oil in the air, right? I mean, you know, got to be doing something. Yeah. So, um, but also for my daughter, who is eight, she must be like your second daughter because she is so spirited, so crazy, and, you know, highs and lows, and, you know, is always very emotional, and the same thing, she'll be sitting even in class and we would get have teacher conferences last year and the year before of like, she doesn't get math or she doesn't get something, she will break down and cry mm -hmm. in the classroom. And like a few weeks ago, we started putting the Ningerette and I mean, I'm sorry, the Indoflex and the Juvaflex in her Ningerette and, a, you know, just, just that. I mean, I haven't even really been doing, a, a, you know, I'm just watching you for the first time here. We just chatted a little bit, but like where to put it. I haven't done that yet, but just putting a drop in her Ningerette every day for like the past two weeks. I mean, within a day, I noticed a huge difference. I mean, we were like having fun cleaning up after dinner. I wasn't getting the, you know, I wasn't knocking heads with her as much. And she just seems so much more even keeled. Isn't and that I mean, amazing? It's amazing. It's like and we have I mean, this superpower. Is like, it's like our oils yeah. are our mom's superpower. Totally. And I mean, I just, I'm like, I think it's hilarious that I didn't know this. I mean, I, you know, I just never thought because I was just so scared of my hormones because I had such horrible yeah. experience. I, I can't even believe how my life would have yeah. been different had I just done this and taken, well, you know, and used dragon, like whatever else when I was 13, instead of being put on right. the and I, it, it is really because there's a lack of education in that area for those age, that age range. And I found that I was, I have never heard anybody teach on endocrine support at all the ages. Um, usually what yeah. you hear online is like, you know, for, for the for women. Men. Yeah, for <laughs> women. Um, some, now you're getting a little bit more for men because of power jives, you know. Um, mm -hmm. but not for, you know, just all ages. And, and so that's why, I mean, the past few years, I, that's been a huge emphasis of mine and my team knows that I mean, everyone, in the family, huh. right? everyone in the family should be using these two oils every day. I, or, I mean, you know, I think the, the little toddlers, maybe you use it once a week or something, but yeah, I mean, exactly, exactly. I remember, every, yeah. Um, I remember um, a few years ago when my daughter Elise 
she was 14 and she was on a trip with my parents and um, they took her to Disney and, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it was in Hawaii, the Disney resort, whatever. And so she and another cousin. And so everything was great. And the last day they were there or the second to last day I, I called, I was like, how are y'all doing? And my mom was like, Oh yeah, think she'd be grateful. I mean, today has been a rough day, like a really rough day. She's just in a bad mood. I'm like, mom, ask her if she brought her Indoflex. And <laughs> mom was like, Elise, like she was all playing in the surf or whatever. She was like, did you bring your Indoflex? And I could hear her, yes. I mean, it was kind of like a yes. And so I was like, mom, I promise, have her use it. She knows what to do. By now she knew, you know. And so the next day I called him like, how y'all doing? She's like, oh my word, she's a different child. <laughs> she's like thankful and grateful and she's having mm -hmm. a great time. And I'm like, and my mom, my mom, who's like, you know, she's a real crown diamond um, right under me. And like she, you know, oh, studies body systems and, and educates on that. That's something, I mean, uh, you know, she's got grandkids. Like she didn't have experience with that. And so mm -hmm. she had that aha moment. She was like, well, why didn't we know about this? I'm like, I don't know. Nobody's talking about <laughs> it. So we've got to talk about it. And it just can change the entire atmosphere of a home. And especially if you, you know, when you have kids of all ages, I mean, it's just so powerful to, to be equipped with, with what they have. I mean, they all go through growth spurts. They all go through, we all go through um, life changes. And it is important to us mm -hmm. as a whole person to support all of our body systems as best that we can, okay. even in little ways here and there. So anyway, thank you so much. And I am going to keep talking about this in our group. And I know that so many people were blessed by this story. I mean, I would have sat here listening to this story and been like, eh, yeah, let me see. Right. And that's kind of what I did. I, I waited a couple months and I tried it. I used it. Because really, we don't know until we try it. And you could, you know, hear everybody's stories all you want. But I mean, ultimately, you have to use it. And our oils only work if you use them. And so I have been using it. And I have noticed a difference in myself. I've noticed a difference in my children. I have yet to, um, to get my husband doing this. <laughs> But I will. Um, and, you know, you, you start in, in pieces, That's guys. Right. You can't do everything at once. Right. And you know, as, you, as they notice the changes in other yeah. parts of your family, then it'll become easier. Um, so yeah. all of you guys can comment and tell Evan to, yeah. to take his end of well, I just, um, <laughs> well, can I give you – I challenge you guys. Everybody watching, try it. If you have children, I mean, if not for yourself, you know, if you have uh, children, try it. Um, the first, mm -hmm. one of the first times that I taught it, I taught it um, in South Carolina and did um, an, in, you know, hormone class and stuff. Anyway, and I shared the story about Julia. And then um, six months later, I go back and this woman came up to me after class and she had her 12 year old daughter with her. And she said, hey, six months ago, we sat in your class. And I was like, if she said, you, the story you told about your daughter, it was like you were telling my daughter's story. She goes, so we got home and we overnighted. <laughs> she goes, I overnighted those oils and put them to use. She got the Indoflex, Indoflex Vitality. And she said in two days, she had her daughter back, you know, that, and, and so anyway, so I challenge you do it, just try it. I mean, yes. it's, it's not going to hurt anything. And um, yeah. Thank you so much. I will go through, folks, if you're asking questions and, and respond to those here in a bit. I appreciate your time, Sarah, so, so much. So this has been so, so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have helped change some things in our family in the past couple months, so I truly appreciate you. Have a so wonderful welcome. day, everyone. Bye-bye.